Yeah, you know, you really find out who you are in face of adversity, um, and you really find out who your teammates are. And from the very get-go, that moment happened. Brady picked me up, O-line picked me up, Nate Pete came and picked me up, and everybody was dapping me up, and the coaches. And I think it's a, a testament to what type of brotherhood we have when the coaches still believe in you. And even though that I did fumble, they didn't take me out of the game. They trusted me to put me right back in there, and they trusted me at the end of the game to you know get it done. Yeah, you know, I'm just filled with a lot of excitement and joy, man. You know, you watch and hear growing up about, you know, the greatest show on turf and everything that's going on um, at the Dome. And to be able to do that in front of your city, in front of your family and friends, man, is just something I think I'll remember forever and definitely will have a story to tell my kids one day. Cody, from your field, do you think the turf might have played an impact in the injuries your teammates suffered tonight? Uh, no. You know, I think it's just the game of football. You know, um, I don't think we can look into it that much. Yeah, I think you get to see the toughness that those guys have, but it's not just them. It's the you know receivers on the uh, perimeter, and I think a guy that showed up huge tonight was Jordan Harris. You know, um, he's uh, you know a true freshman, hasn't been playing football that long, um, and he had he had the big key blocks you know, on my touchdown and on the the one to get that last first down in the game. So he showed up huge tonight. Cody, after a year kind of hearing about defense carrying this team the last two weeks, 64 points, what's the what's the ceiling for this offense? Yeah, I mean, let's not get it uh, twisted, though. Like, our defense is legit, you know? Like, we got dogs on defense, so, we, you know, we, they're going to win us a lot of football games, just like you saw tonight. But, and, you know, I think offensively, I think we finally, after last week, have we believe what we got on offense. And I think that's huge for us, because I think we were lacking a little confidence, and now we're starting to really put it together, and you're seeing the toughness and the explosiveness that, you know, this offense really can be, and we're putting it all together right now. Cody, obviously, you've made an impact as a team captain and leader. Can you describe what you saw as another captain? Yeah, I mean, I keep saying it. Like, that kid is the toughest kid that I, I've ever met. And me and him have grown really closer to seeing that friendship off the field and then seeing him on the field. That kid is Mizzou's quarterback. And I think that he keeps showing it week in, week out, and he keeps fighting for a team. And I think that's the only thing you can ask out of him. You said you chase him down the field telling him his lies sometimes. Were you doing it on that? Yeah, no, I don't think uh, he, you know, he doesn't like to listen to that. But uh, that's something definitely he's got to work on still. But. Yeah, I think we knew we just had to t uh, tire them out, and we had to lean on the offensive line to get the job done, um, and that's kind of what we did second half. Cody, Cody since Eric Banks has been talking up here the last year, it was frustrating losing a lot of close games. You guys so far are 3-0 amongst the leagues. What's been the difference in the fourth quarter for you? Yeah, just our toughness and our elite edge that Coach Russell and uh, you know the whole coaching staff has instilled in us, and there's a different feel in the locker room. There's a different feel this year. I mean, I think we're seeing now, you know, we're putting everything together, you know, when the moments uh, is called in. You know, nothing's been easy this year so far. We're 4-0, we're blessed, and we're looking to be 5-0. But um, we, we're a tough football team. We're going to be hard to beat this year. Yeah, well, I think that's just the point of emphasis all week was that we looked at our games from you know the previous weeks and we came out slow starting the second half. So that was a huge um, point of emphasis, and it was huge for us to get the ball um, coming out of halftime and you know put points on the board. So yeah, we're just focused on finding ways to start fast, um, you know, coming out of second half. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's like a human joystick. Uh, you know, he's incredible, and just and I, it's not even just the moves and stuff, but he's starting to develop as a leader on offense. And I think that's something that you guys don't get to see, but we get to see. He's an incredible athlete, but now he's developing into a true leader of this offense. And I think that's one of the main reasons our offense is really starting to click now. Yeah, but uh, that's just who we are. And we know that, and we do that every day at practice. So um, you guys are just starting to see what we see every day. Cody, as you guys are starting to look ahead for conference play, how big is a win like this, especially in front of hometown? You know, stay perfect and look forward. Yeah, you know, our goal every week is to be 1-0. Um, we achieved that goal. So um, no matter who we play, we're just looking to be 1-0 that week. So.